Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another beautiful weekend. Jimmy Brown fishing here. Uh, today we're out trying to catch some largemouth bass. Um, the water is very warm. The temperature is like 88.6, 87, somewhere around there. Um, it's very humid out today. It's already 84 degrees and it's not even 8 o'clock. So we're going to be throwing uh, rubber worms today. Probably some uh, twister tail baits. Maybe try to do a little bit of trolling. Just using a um, what's called a yum. I believe it's a 6 inch rubber worm with an offset hook. So we're going to see if we can land a few bass today and potentially do a little trolling for some crappie if they happen to show up. Appreciate you watching and hit that subscribe button and that notification button and feel free to leave a comment. Let's catch another one. I think I got a nice bass on here. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Healthy two pounder. Very healthy. He even got a little bit of a belly on him. Very pretty. Very nice. Let's let him go. Oh, I got two fish on. <laughs> I got doubles. Oh, both of them are nice size. got off. Let's go with this one. About two and a half. Nice. Got him on this little pill head jig with a pale yellow twister tail. Just trolling. Trolling for crappie, actually. Here we go. Two and a quarter, two and a half. Let's let him go. So. All right, I'm going to show you how I rig up a rubber worm. Basically, I just take the end of the worm, put the hook in it, bring it down maybe about a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch, and bring it back out. Okay, now I'm going to take the worm and slide it all the way up into the offset and actually what I like to do, and I don't know how other people do it, but I actually take the worm 
up onto the line past the eyelet of the hook. That way there's nothing visible except this invisible fluorocarbon leader. Then you want to turn your hook, face the point toward the worm, and measure. Go to the bottom of the hook, which is right where my thumbnail is. Take the point of the hook, go into that area, come back into the worm, but do not expose the hook. The reason I don't want to expose the hook is because I'm fishing weedless. And then once I get that, if it's a little crooked, I just merely pull up on the worm on the eyelet of the hook, and now my worm is pretty straight. This one here actually has a paddle tail on it, and I've not tried this style or this variety yet, but it's also the um, motor oil color. So let's give it a shot. I hope that tip helped. There we go. Oh, he's not ready to give up yet. Yep, he just did. He let go of the <laughs> he let go of the worm and then came back and tried to get it again. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. We got a nice one on. Stay down. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a nice large mouth on that rubber worm. Pulling the boat. Wear this one down. That's pretty good. Looks like about a three, maybe. Oh, at least a three. Probably three and a half. fish. Not sure why it's bleeding. I didn't get it in the gill. The gills are in good shape. It's hooked in the side of the mouth. I just came back in the water and see how he does. There he goes. Healthy as can be. Whew. Catch another one. Well, I wasn't expecting this. It's a big old crappie. Nice one. My gosh. Look at the size of that. about a slab. Now that is a slab. It's pretty. Let's 
see what we got. Thirteen and a half. 